Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be bringing to you my meal prep for the week. These recipes are so simple, easy, delicious, and I hope you enjoy, so stick around. I'm gonna be making two different kinds of bowls, which I love. Making bowls are super, super easy for you and for the family, and you can mix them up however you want to so you never get bored. One is gonna mimic the Chipotle bowl, which I love. That's one of my favorite recipes. I marinated some tofu for a couple hours and some coconut aminos, so I'm gonna pop that in the oven on 350 for about 20 minutes, and I'm gonna get my pots of water boiling. So I do them all at the same time to keep it going. In the first pot, I'm gonna add my sweet potato, so I'm gonna boil that. Next, I'm going to add my broccoli into another pan. In my saucepan, I started off by boiling a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna add some garlic and a little bit of red onion. And you're gonna start to smell it. The kitchen is gonna start smelling so, so good. I'm adding a little bit of cracked black pepper as well as a little bit of salt and I'm gonna stir that up. Now, I didn't use any oil because onions themselves give off a lot of water, especially in vegetables in general. So I try to stay away from the, the oils if I can. In my last pot, I'm gonna start by um, adding my brown rice. All of my vegetables, I'm gonna bring them to a boil and then I'm gonna reduce the heat so you'll see that. Back to my saucepan, I'm gonna add some chopped green peppers to that. That also gives off a little bit of water. So again, I'm not really looking to add any more or any oil in general to my pot if I can help it. Now I'm gonna add my veggies. So I have my corn as well as my black beans. These are canned, which does keep the cost down as well. So that is, that is gonna be great for people who are trying to save a little bit of money. But the best way to use these is to make sure that you wash them off as well so you don't want to take them right out of the can and put them into the pot for my seasonings i'm going to use a little bit of garlic and onion powder chili powder black cracked pepper and a little bit of cayenne pepper which you can omit if you want to but i like to keep mine a little spicy this is already pretty much cooked so i'm just going to mix it up until it gets to a consistency that i want to when i'm ready i'm just going to put a lid on it and cut the heat off until it's time for me to prep my bowls. Now I can check on everything else. My rice is boiling, so that means I'm just going to reduce the heat and put a lid on it. That's gonna cook for about 20 minutes or so, or until al dente. My sweet potatoes are boiling, so they might be done. I'm just gonna check it with a fork, and once I can stab through it, I know that they're finished. It looks like they're good, so I'm gonna turn the eye off and strain my sweet potatoes. I do also rinse those off a little bit to get any extra starch off of those. Time for me to go check on my broccoli. So it looks like my water is boiling. I'm gonna reduce the heat and then add a lid on it. I'm not gonna cook it all the way because once I heat it over the next couple of days, it's gonna cook as well in the microwave. My green beans, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. These are frozen, so I don't have to cook them for as long, but I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the pot. Once that starts to boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat and then add a lid on that as well. I'm pretty much almost done, so now I'm just gonna add my garnish, which is gonna be like this really quick pico de gallo. I had some canned tomatoes, um, put that in a bowl with some red onion, cilantro, as much lime as I could find, and a little bit of salt. And then I'm just gonna mix that up and add that to the top of my bowl. Checking on the rest of my meal prep here. My broccoli looks like it's coming along pretty well. Again, I'm not going to cook it for too much longer because I want it to be firm. My green beans look like they are cooking as well, so I'm going to um, turn those off so they're not too mushy. And then again, my mixture here for my chipotle bowl is done. So you can eat your tofu just like this, that's fine. You can put it in the oven for a little bit longer if you want it to be more brown. Again, this is about 20 minutes on 350. I personally like my tofu to be a little firmer, 
So I did put it in the oven for a little bit longer, but decided to go ahead and throw it in the air fryer. So I put it on 350 for about 10 minutes, but halfway through I wanted to check it just to make sure that it wasn't like overcooking. After about 20 minutes, I want to go ahead and check on my rice. But again, you guys, I'm mimicking the Chipotle bowl. And one thing that I love from Chipotle is their cilantro lime rice. So I'm going to try to make my own version. Add as much cilantro as you want to into your rice, as well as as much limes as you like. I can never get enough lime, so um, I definitely had to put as much in there as I had, which was not that much. I was a little salty about it, but still put two limes in there. I also added a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt. I'm going to mix that up there. <music> Lastly, it's time for me to check on my tofu, which looks beautiful. Now it's time for us to start putting our food in a bowl. So the first bowl, I'm gonna add a little bit of sweet potato. I'm also gonna add some of my tofu. And then lastly to this bowl, I'm gonna add some of the green beans. To my next bowl, I'm gonna add some of the cilantro brown rice as well as my mixture with the corn and the black beans I'm gonna top it with some of the pico and two slices of avocado and a lime wedge now you guys you can mix this up however you want you can put the bean and corn mixture with the sweet potatoes the rice with the tofu however you want to do it to mix it up but as you can see this would feed you this would make you feel satiated it's good for you it's good for the family and it's just all around um, a good meal and very good on the pockets as well so i hope you guys enjoy these recipes if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up feel free to share it with friends and family if you like as well and then while you're here do not forget to subscribe thanks again for you guys for watching until next time peace